Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Stellaris. The best space-based game since, uh, probably Galactic Civilizations 2. Yes, that's right, I don't even consider Galactic Civilizations 3 in the equation because it was such a bad game. Um, still is, in my opinion. I hate to say that because I love Stardock. I mean, don't get me wrong, I could possibly be um, shooting myself in the foot here because I've had two recent sponsored videos that I did with with Stardock um, with uh, what what was it called they did uh, Ashes of the Singularity and then they also published um, the other game uh, Offworld Trading Company which I actually really want to get back to playing again that would be a lot of fun I should do that but um yeah but they made Galaxy 3 and I still I still hate that game Horrible game. I think they did a bad job. It's just it's just a bad game. It, it did. It was it was supposed to be the spiritual successor to Galactic Civilizations 2, and I honestly think that the patch they released to Galactic Civilizations 2 is better than the Galactic Civilizations 3. So it's like, why would anyone buy Galactic Civilizations 3? Okay. Situation log updated. We have a Metropolis. Should I read that stuff? Do you guys want me to read more of that crap? We should read more of that stuff, huh? We have a Metropolis thing here. Metropolis available. Uh, level 1 scientist. Track a map. Go to. Okay. Uh, we have a scientist right here, so by all means. Scientist skill needs to be level 4 or higher. Are any of our sciences... We've got a level 3, a level 4, and level 4. This guy's currently doing debris. And this is where I wish you could just do, do a control click and add to the top of the queue. But for now, let's just shift click. And we'll have him do it, like, eventually. Metropolis available, go to. Scientist, skill 4 has skill 5 or higher. Oh, it requires a level 5. My mistake. We don't we don't have a skill 5 scientist. We've got 1 3 2 2 4 and 4. Um but scientist Schoenblor Schoenblor is almost level 5, so maybe with some of these survey orders he'll actually get up to 5 and he'll be able to do it. Let's hopefully uh, not forget about that. Okay, where's our m military fleet? Okay, again, like, see, what I would prefer is, like, you know, survey system. Like, I know there are hostile ships in this system. I have a military fleet. I want to right-click and say, exterminate, like, like, cleanse system. Like, kill hostiles. Maybe I'm asking for too much of a simplistic game. Maybe I, I want too little micro or something, but I feel like having to every single system manually come in here and queue them up to tell them to do this, it gets tedious in a 1000 system galaxy. And I'm not, I'm system playing on like size like, this isn't tiny, this was like medium. And this, no, 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 there's five, there's five sizes to the system, right? There's like, yeah, I think there's five. And I, instead of doing the, the smallest one for this campaign, we did the second smallest one. And it's already, it's big! There's a lot going on. I don't want to play this game for 50 hours. Well, maybe I do, I don't know, maybe that's normal. What are you shooting at us? Um, hulls are regenerating, damage ships are repaired when entering a orbit. They have armor, which we don't care about because of our guns, which are awesome. These are crystalline entities, we've fought them before. We started off this fight with, uh... Boy, shouldn't it list, like, the number of ships? Somewhere on this screen, not just on this screen? 50 versus... And it doesn't show the number of ships for them. Is it- oh, is it just one ship? No, there's- there's clearly more than one ship here. Why does it not show the number of ships? That seems weird to me. I'm gonna write that down. number of ships and types in fleet combat screen. It's just, why wouldn't I feel like that needs to be there? So, hit ratio. Medium shard throwers. So they're hitting pretty accurately. 50%. We're hitting really accurately. And uh, we're evading half of their shots. They're only evading 10% of our shots. So yeah, our fleet of Corvettes is kicking ass. 
Um, you, I would prefer to do surveys on planets. Go analyze the debris. Survey. Um, and actually, what if I did this? What if I said research project? And then what if I just queued the survey system from the planet that I care about? It should queue that up, right? So it's going to do the debris. Interesting how it does that in that order. Notice the order. Debris in Nigero. Moving Nigero system. Shouldn't it be moving Nigero system, then number one, debris in Nigero? Because the very first thing you have to do is move to the Nigero system. Minor, 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 minorist of UI complaints. but um, And then it's going to survey Nigero 4, which is, yes, the colonizable planet. Okay, so we can do it that way. That'll help out. That's cool. I like that. It's probably not a planet we want to colonize, but hey, you know. Alexarin, any other upgrades we can do for you? I mean, we have the minerals. We, we could use the research. We need still more physics. We could always use more minerals. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, the other ships... And I, did I write this down? I'm gonna write it down again, just in case I forgot. Select all armies button. Having to shift click multiple itty bitty armies without rally. It's either gotta be a rally point or a shift click. Like there's gotta be a way to tell them to do it. And I would really prefer as well if like, instead of having to like right click and then choose an option, why can't it be like, Control right click means move. That's a great idea. I'll write that down too. Maybe I'm am I spending too much effort on writing things down? Control right click on a planet or system with an army selected equals move command. I mean, yes, there is. There is an actual move button, right? The C key. So I could just say C move. Maybe I should just get used to doing that. But it's it's just so radically different from their other games, right? Like in EU4, you don't have to select an army and then press C and then click on a province. You just select the army and then right click on the damn province and they go there, right? That that's where my disconnect is. And that's why I am I'm asking for it to be different. Um I mean, I I do like this this breakdown thing. It's just because there's there's various different orders. Where no you you no 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 enter orbit here stay in orbit. Have the other fleet come here. Situation log updated. I should just start using the C key. Is what I should do. Ooh, the admiral leveled up. Cool. He's level four now. Ship fire rate for 20%. He's got 40% extra fire rate. This guy is awesome. And all of our science ships are busy. All of our construction ships are busy. Minerals are coming in at a pretty great clip. The monthly hull repair keeps these ships pretty well, pretty well going. Engaged. One thing I want to try someday is um, we should try out the auto... Oh, that's interesting. Auto-generate designs is still on. I had it turned off before. But then in my solo campaign that I was doing last night, I turned it back on. It's very, very curious to me that that persisted when I switched to a different save file. That's weird. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> that's more of a bug report than anything. Auto generate designs button doesn't respect save file setting. I should I should be a beta tester. I argued with it wasn't really an argument, but I asked <laughs> I asked Wiz about it. I was like, please, dude, just just let me beta test games for you. I promise I won't say anything. Situation <laughs> log updated. And he said it's not that simple. And I said, yeah, it is. I'll sign an I'll sign a nine disclosure agreement. Listen, look, I'm doing it right now. I won't disclose shit. <laughs> and he said, oh, that's not good enough. And then I cried. Tears. 
You guys automatically in orbit? You are not. Why are you not automatically in orbit? Like, go in orbit. Okay, practice. C, click. Now are you in orbit? How are you not in orbit? How is moving you to Elixirin not the same thing as telling you to be in orbit? Come on. Enter orbit, and now we get the discount. That's stupid. Moving to the planet and orbiting the planet are functionally the same thing. Come on. I'm not crazy. I am crazy. You're in cold freeze. You're in some other system. Um... So, that means that the C key is not useful! Remember how I was just saying I gotta get used to using the C key, right? We've got this navy over here, that I want to combine with this navy. I don't want to use the combine key, because then they both leave orbit and then I have to pay maintenance for them. I want one fleet to come join the other fleet. So if I right-click on Cold Freeze, which is where Elixirin is, which is where I want them to go, and then I left-click on this army to select it, and then I tell them to come here, I have to do the right-click enter orbit. Otherwise, they don't get the maintenance discount. If I just C click, they move and they are near it, but it's not the same thing as orbiting. So I'm required to use the center orbit interface, which is silly. So I am definitely gonna write that down. C key for movement is stupid. And it should be the same thing as orbit. Or rather, if moved to a planet auto orbit. I mean, obviously, if you're at the planet, just freaking orbit the planet. Functionally, what's the difference? Situation log updated. Okay, so you've cleared out that system. Go kill all that stuff now. What do we got going on here? This is uh, some debris. Debris analyzed. All right, let's get you up to level five. Let's get you up there. We have worked on mining drone lasers and nanocomposite materials. What are those? Let's go check those out. Uh oh, did I just accidentally pick the complete wrong one? Also, thank you for pointing out that that's a hanger slot, not like a heavy, heavy slot or something. Uh, we were working on... I guess galactic, this one. Cloud Lightning. Penetrates armor. Kind of stupid. We already have full penet- We are- Mining Drone Laser. We- We already have that. How does the Mining Drone Laser compare to the existing weaponry that we have? And how can I tell the rank of this? Is there like more than one rank of this? Because I know that it usually goes like red, blue, whatever. They've got color codes. Color codes I don't like. I wish it was numbers. It should just be like mining drone lasers one, mining drone lasers two, because obviously two is always better than one. Red versus blue, like you just have to memorize colors, which is kind of silly. Anyway, um, so is it even no, no? I'm just gonna say outright no. Even if it was slightly better, I'm not gonna spend 1,800 research points to research something that does the exact same damn thing as what we already have. We already have a weapon that does 100% armor penetration. That's silly. The the shard throwers we don't care about. We're just going to go back to um, the physics lab, I think, is what we were working on. Crap, I just canceled something important. All because I wanted to see what the nano composite armor was or something. I forget. I forget. There was a, there was a thing in here we were doing. So much debris out there. I don't know.
we should probably upgrade our navy. We have we have terraforming gases. Who are you and are you a vassal? Yes. That's why you're just randomly flying around my space. Okay, I accept this. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Playing on normal speed feels very slow again. Get, get to level 4. Okay, um... More stuff that's within range of our stuff. It's within all of our area. Got all this. Not within range. All this stuff we can do. Um, this was the Western Blight. Can we expand the Western Blight? Really, really wish there was a new, a new tab. Wait, what? Western Blight. Eastern, Southern, Northern, Distant. Oh, it's because there's a, a name. There's a guy there that made it feel different. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Manage. Yeah, let's add more. System is outside of our borders, which is fine. Do we want to add this one here? I think so. Someone... Okay, um... Actually, I forgot about this in the previous episode, but we should do this. Someone has suggested that there was that one planet with Bob on it. You guys remember Bob? Bob the robot? Bob. Robot Bob. Someone had suggested that we, like, disassemble him and then try to migrate some people here. Our habitability is 80%, so... That's good. No, that's not true. Our habitability for our people would be 20% for the Wilted Rose. But the Alvothari are pretty good. But they're a vassal. I mean, we could just migrate some people here anyway, or do we we still don't have the tech to build more robots, right? No. I mean, if anything, I guess robots are only good at minerals, right? It's like the only thing that they can mine. Minerals plus 10%. Science, energy, everything else goes down. So, yeah, there's... Can you not move the robot pop? Cannot move a pop in a sector. Okay. Hmm. I mean, this planet could be so much more useful to us if we did... I mean, even if it was just 20%. Habitability. We could remove it from the sector that it's in, the Southern Blight, and then make it part of our own core planet for a moment. Initiate a migration command. Let's try it. This is again one of the situations where I feel like we should just try it. We should we should learn. So uh, again, this was in the Southern Blight. So the Southern Blight. Uh, not rename. Manage sector. I'm going to remove this. It's going to cost us 25. Uh, we'll finish. We are still paused. Now we are allowed to manage this. So, yes, we can move him. There's really no functional difference here, right? 4.6 versus 4.6. Yep. Now we should be able to go to Elexorin. Or really any of the planets that are capped on pop that have high food production. Like, Jurg, Jurg, whatever, would be a good one. Because it's got nine food growth. So we find the surface thing. We find someone, preferably, who's not working a building. Or if they're working a building, they're not happy. Like, say, maybe you. Three... Three energy is... Probably not that important. And then we resettle you. Two. I've already forgotten the name. Jurg, or... Chun. Planets must have a planetary administration to be valid targets for resettlement. Well, damn! 
Okay, so that's not a valid approach. We can't do that. Well, we learned something. Uh, we wasted 25 points. So in order to have a planetary... Wait a second, that's not true. The planet was huge. It has a planetary administration. It's planetary administration. Weisenborn. No, this should work. This, this should work. You are going to resettle in Weisenberg. Yes, we're going to bring you here. And you're going to be a slave. And you're going to work this tile. Oh, I've got a, I've got a drag and drop. Okay, so I drag and drop you. 66.5. Damn. Well, as long as we get one dude there, eventually the planet should grow, right? And we'd have him work food then, in that case. As a slave. And now I'm lacking the, uh, the influence to do so. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. And we have inefficient planet management because we're over the limit. Damn it! Curse you, game! Uh, where are our frontier outposts? They were the two that were way out there. I'm not gonna get rid of those. Actually, did, didn't we colonize this planet? Even back mold here, frontier outposts. And then... I could have sworn the other one was down here. But it's not. Was it here? Yes. Is it necessary? Yes. We just don't have enough influence to do what I want to do. So oh, our options are, we're slowly gaining influence. We could just wait. Um... I think we've learned, I think we've learned enough to feel confident that we can make that decision in the future, but for now we'll just grant it back to the Western Blight. Or the Southern Blight, or whatever the hell it was, whichever one. can't see the damn name, where's the name? Western Blight? can't even like select the Blight to see it, I think it was the Southern Blight. Okay, it's fine. I feel good. We learned some stuff. Stuff was learned. Level 2 scientist, that's nice. Construction ships are busy. We met a new empire recently. Um, who was it? Let's see. It wasn't these guys. Was it you? May have been you. Wilted Rose, you should know that your people are not very popular among our citizens. They are inferior in every way. They have one planet with 12 people. We should go enslave them. And draw the ire of the, uh... <laughs> no, we're not gonna purge anyone else. It's not allowed. It'd be bad. Right, let's take a short break here. I still feel like stuff was accomplished. Learning happened. Um, we're making progress in this game. I'm starting to figure out some of the stuff. I still feel like there's a lot of inter interface type improvements that could be made in this game. And I, and I am looking forward to making an adjustments video. The question is just, um, when... When do we do that? And, uh... Now this is curious. So this is already part of the Eastern Blight. Does it actually cost me... If I transfer... 33. If I transfer... No, there's no cost. So what's the difference? Like, why... Why let it matter? Like... Maybe does one one blight 
have more resources than another and it's it's better at managing or something, perhaps. I'm not sure. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here though. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you soon.